My name is Jennifer Maminga and I've been coming to First Baptist for about 15 years. If you had asked me two years ago if I thought anything in my life was missing, um, I don't think I would have any, had anything to say. Um, at the time I had been going to Bible study for several years. I was volunteering more at church, but yet one night I was driving in my car two years ago and I asked the Lord, so is this it? Is this what a Christian life looks looks like? Is this what it feels like? And um, Bible study started up again in the fall and we were taking a study called Named by God and um, in it we were challenged to pray that God would reveal sin in our life and I also we also had to pray that um, God would give you the strength to give it over to him. And only three days later, God showed me the first of several issues that I had in my life um, that were sin, that I didn't recognize as sin. The biggest one had to do with music. Um, music has always been a huge part of my life, and I ended up studying it in college. But with every year after graduation, I kept thinking, um, I'd started to think that music was all I had to offer. And I don't know where that, why I decided to think that, but um, I started to um, just choke the life out of the music in my life, basically. And I started to become terrified of losing it. Um, and I also was terrified of not being good enough. And so um, I kind of started to define myself by being a musician and. I didn't realize or recognize what I could be without that. And um, God showed me that this was sin and I saw why it was sin because it was consuming my entire life. So when God showed me that it was sin, um, I, I gave it to him and I, I, was, I was very surprised by what happened when I gave God music, He somehow gave me this ability to see myself on my knees in the middle of nowhere, and uh, it was snowing, and um, I was about, without anybody that I loved, and I didn't have any special abilities, yet I was completely joyful, and, um, and that's when I saw that it didn't matter what I could do because he was with me. <laughs> when I gave everything to the Lord, um, it wasn't like I had to sit back and think about whether or not that was a good decision or not. He blessed me with so much peace and joy that I could hardly stand it. <laughs> I was given back the, the blessing of, um, of what I thought was defining me. Um, when I handed the Lord my abilities, I felt an entire decade of insecurity and my own limitations were, were lifted and it was no longer me trying to figure things out. When I put everything in God's hands, He just, he just showed me. I was no longer Am I defined really by anything, by my family, by my, the things that I have, by my looks, by what I do? It's um, just the fact that God loves me and has um, filled me with so much peace and joy that, um, that has become who I am. I don't know where God wants me to go and I don't know if music is a part of it and I don't know if all these blessings in my life will always be there. but. I don't care. Um, I trust him that no matter where he leads me, he will equip me. And and I had to smile when I saw the theme verse this year for Women's Ministries. Um, it's Romans 15, 13. May the God of all hope fill you with peace and joy as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is what happened to me. I gave God all of my life, not just part of it. And he filled me with so much peace and joy and hope that I am actually overflowing with it. Yes, I have joy, joy, unspeakable joy. I find peace even in suffering. You're the hope that I cling to. And I choose to 
trust